Hello, my dear students. Today we will be discussing about how text data is represented in the computer. We use character sets for that. There are two types of character sets that we will be using ASCII code and Unicode. All right, ASCII code and Unicode. We will be discussing about both of these in detail in depth today in this video. So stay here with me. Let's move on. Text data. is represented in computer in the form of binary text data is represented in the computer in the form of binary all right binary is zero or one digital data you might say so if i am pressing a keyboard key let's suppose a b c or any number or any symbol or even space bar it has a specific binary code that is supposed to be stored in the computer's memory for the reference of the of the computer that which key was pressed all right so the first character set that we are going to study is ascii code ASCII stands for American Standard Code for in Information Interchange. All right. So in ASCII, my dear students, we represent the characters in seven bits. All right. In, in the form of seven zeros and ones, we represent a character. Now, what is a character? First of all, you need to understand that a character can be any letter number, symbol, etc. Each and every key on your keyboard that you use is a character. In, in the form of different languages, it is a character. All right. So in ASCII code, we represent English letters, digits and some special symbols. All right, let's have a look at the ASCII table. All right, so in the ASCII table, if you guys can see, for example, the character A has a decimal, a denary value of 65 and a hexadecimal value of four and one. All right, for example, even space, space, my dear students, has a hexadecimal value of two zero and a denary value of 32. But does the computer store these character sets directly in the form of denary or hexadecimal? No, my dear students, you should understand this till now that computer only stores the data in the form of binary. All right. So let's just see, for example, as we uh, had a look upon what is A, A has a denary value of 65. So is it hard for my students to convert a denary number into binary? I don't think so. My students are smart and I have also explained this whole phenomena of conversion from one number system to the other number system in my previous videos. If you haven't watched the video till now, go back and see that part one video in which I explained the number systems and conversion and then come back and convert this 65 to binary. So the very first step, make eight places, put weights 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. And now fill in the places with zeros and ones to make up the denary number 65. Okay. So zero, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 1. That makes up 65, my dear students. So this binary number 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 is the number, is the form in which the letter A, whenever you type the letter A, whenever you press the keyboard's key of letter A, it is stored in this form in the computer that I showed you people. Okay. And did you guys know even the space, 
the space bar that we use also has a specific binary form, my dear students. As you can see here, space has a decimal value of 32. So as you convert it, A, a, is, a, a into binary, just convert the space bars 32 into binary and you will get the binary form of space. Okay. The limitation with ASCII is it only it only represents characters of English language numbers and a few symbols my dear students so what about other languages okay i want to use an urdu keyboard you want to use a french keyboard a german keyboard how do we actually type data in other languages and how does computer understand it we need another character set for that ascii code cannot do that so that another character set my dear students it is unicode Unicode is a universal character set, okay? A universal character set that aims to cover all characters from all languages and symbols. Each and every language and symbols, I think so, can be covered in Unicode. How does Unicode represent the characters? It represents the characters in 32 bits. Like, can you guys imagine the difference between 32 bits of Unicode and just 7 bits of ASCII? Alright, so in 32 bits of Unicode, you can store almost all the languages. For example, the heart symbol, this heart is for you guys. We represent Unicode as U plus two. 665 and laughing emoji as u plus 1f602 don't worry you, you are not supposed to remember the unicode code points for all the characters this is just for a reference this is just to tell you all that how to represent characters in unicode but you're not supposed to remember these code points okay so don't worry about that my dear students one major thing a major mistake that students do is that they forget that ASCII is used to represent 7 bits, right? But sometimes the students convert the characters into directly 8 bits. That is not ASCII. So you need to remember that you are supposed to remove the 8th bit like the 128 weight place is supposed to be removed you are just supposed to remember that only weights 1064 are supposed to be applied okay that makes up the 7 bits okay let me give you all an insight into it what if i want to represent a character in 8 bits in ascii that does, that does not mean that I cannot do that. I can do it, but in extended ASCII. There is something else that is called extended ASCII. In extended ASCII, you can represent 8 bits. 8 bits mean that now in total, 256 different characters can be represented. 256 different characters. In simple ASCII, we can just represent 128 different characters. Alright, I hope you all understand that how to represent now the text data in the form of different in the in the form of different character sets ascii extended ascii and unicode that is all from my side take care bye